and welcome to my car. So this is the third time I've filmed this. With all the footage being corrupted, I'm cold. As you can see, I'm still getting used to some of the settings. Um, but I just thought I would give you a quick roundup of all the adaptations, the, the inside of my car basically, and show you what it looks like, how things work. Right here obviously is the wheel. This is the steering aid, which I hold to steer, obviously. And on it has all these buttons exactly sure what they all do. I know that's right indicator, left indicator. Well that's supposed to be horn but it didn't work. Front windscreen washers, back windscreen washers. That is for at night to turn the lights on, like the remote control lights on. These are all to do with the headlights and stuff. I don't quite have a grasp of that yet but we'll get there. I don't really do much night driving and this down here is my brake and accelerate and that's another indicator switch. I tend to use this one, or sometimes I use the ones on the remote control aid. It just depends on where my hands are when I'm turning and stuff. It is an automatic car, so that's park, reverse, neutral, drive, and I don't know what the L is. He just said it's for like when you're going down a hill. Maybe low, I don't know. That's my air freshener. This is another air freshener because that's not very strong. It's drumsticks. And that is vanilla, I think, because I like sweet smells. My wheelchair is in the back with my wheelchair stuff. It's like a massive car, like on the outside. It's smaller on the inside, but there's all the space is kind of in the, like, in the boobs up there. In here is just random stuff. And a little packet of Jelly Babies for Sam. So here is my wheelchair hoist, as demonstrated by Sam and Lola. Um, first of all, you have to put the little red clip down to keep the pole up. Then you lift the arm up and put it into the middle slot. Middle slot, Sam, there we go. And then you have to swing it round to where my wheelchair is. There's my wheelchair. This is my lightweight wheelchair, which I'm changing because it's a pile of shit. And then what you have to do is the um, obviously fold the wheelchair up and the red cord, there's a little remote control saying up and down and you have to press down to get more of the cord and you have to keep going and going and going until you've got enough to loop it through the arms to secure it and you can either do it once or twice I think Sam tends to do it twice but I'm like a rebel and I live on the edge so I just do it once and then what you have to do is press the up button as you can see and it lifts the wheelchair you have to kind of support the wheelchair away from the car because Obviously, if you just left it, it would bang into the car. And on the day we filmed this, the remote control was playing up. So for the up one, it was going down. For the down one, it was going up. So it took a bit of manoeuvring, but we got there in the end. And yeah, you need to make sure it's extra secure. And then as you're pressing the button to lift it up, you just have to kind of keep... You don't have to hold it much. You don't have to take any of the weight of the wheelchair. You just need to keep it guided away from the car. Oh, Broken, as you can see or you should see here there we go yeah you just don't want it to bang into the car and then when it reaches about an inch away from the top you just stop like so hi Lola and then you swing the arm in and making sure that the little wheels are going in first you just it just goes into the boot and it's very easy and then when it's in there you just Put it down and then give enough of the red cord so that when it's down you can unclip the red hook and then unfold the arm from the top and lay it flat which i didn't film so this is like the third or fourth time i tried filming my car vlog and i thought you know what i'm not a quitter i need to give it another go so here i am i wanted to basically talk to you about what it's like driving an adapted car, tell you the things that I found hard, the things that I found easy, basically just talk to you about driving whilst I'm driving. There's lots of bees around, I don't like it. I will warn you that the aircon is going to have to be up, so I hope you can hear me, but it's fucking boiling, especially, you know, cars retain heat and black cars, especially, they're like ovens. So I'm going to get started. I'll try and keep the aircon low, but it's really hot. Did I just mention, yeah, today I am going to see the girls. Well, they live just outside Warwick. And that's about 40 minutes away from me. It's just up the motorway. 
but on the way I'm gonna have to get an x-ray done because I've been in a lot of pain with my hips and we think that my osteoarthritis has gotten worse if it shows further degeneration then I might need to be referred to an orthopedic surgeon which we don't want really I've been like in a crap load of pain so that's what I'm going to get it sorted out so yeah driving I've had the car now for about, it must be just over a month, I guess. But it was delivered to me on the Friday. And I drove to the pharmacy quickly with Sam that afternoon. And oh my God, I was like shitting myself. It was just terrifying. A, being back on the road and B, driving a car that I'm not used to. And also driving a manual car. No, driving an automatic car. Because that's not something I've ever had to deal with. Like not having to do the gears but I did it and I think I scared Sam because I was just making so many weird noises I was like <laughs> and then the day after that on the Saturday I drove to Buckingham which is about 15 minutes away and I drove there on the way there I drove on the dual carriageway and on the way back I drove like the country country way so that I could get used to driving both sorts of driving and I was fine. The only difficulty I found was when I got there, I wanted to go into Waitrose and it was pissing it down with rain. And I can't wheel my wheelchair in the rain because the wheels are too slippy to wheel, like to push. And also it was all uphill. So I've had, I was having to push uphill in the rain, but it was just impossible. And since then I've kept a towel in the car to make sure that I can dry the wheels if it's wet. I have to admit, I've fallen into the bush a few times, like different bushes at different places. Anywhere that's on a hill, because I've got a lightweight wheelchair now for the car, you you don't have control over it. It's, it's impossible and I keep falling into bushes. I fell into a bush outside Tesco's and at the doctor's. But you know, the upside is I'm doing this stuff on my own. And then after that, I drove to Milton Keynes about two days later, I think, and I was fine. And since then I've been driving most days and I drive to Milk Keynes and Leighton Buzzard a lot so I kind of am used to the journey. Um, I've driven on the motorway once when I went to see the girls a few weeks ago and I'm doing that again today and to be honest you know it's no different from a dual carriageway. If you're scared of motorways then don't be. The worst part of motorways is getting on. The things that I found more difficult with driving is obviously the steering aid is completely new, it's a completely new way of driving and when you're doing certain turns it's really really hard and it's really tough on your arms. After about 10 minutes of driving I get tired so that's a bit tricky. Um, left turns are really really hard, I don't know why it's left rather than right, I think it's because you're going into your body but that's really hard and especially if it's kind of like you're braking or accelerating at the same time, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. It's it's pretty it's pretty tricky. But I've gotten a grasp of it. Yeah, I've not crashed the car yet. I have bumped the curb once, but I think for me, that's really good. I must be driving like proper safe to have only done it once. Just have a look at the petrol. I've got almost a full tank, so that's we like a full tank. Petrol is expensive, but I'm not gonna lie. It's this car is about between 35 and 40 pounds for a tank but it only does 250 miles to a tank so it goes down really really quickly and I'm having to spend quite a lot of money on petrol and because I'm paying for the car as well I am fucking broke it's a bit of a pain but you know I've got freedom and independence and all of that shit and the other day I was like feeling really shit at home and I wasn't doing anything and I thought I'm just going to go out because I had quite a few things to do today on the way to seeing the girls I was like why don't I do some of those things now because I don't like having lots to do because it just stresses me out and I'm worried about timings and stuff so I thought I'll go and do some of that now and I did that and I, it was really good and that's one of the times that I tried filming the car this car vlog and it didn't work because I just look horrendous do you want to hear my favorite song probably one of my favourite songs of all time. This is probably just the most beautiful song I've ever heard. Sam, if you're watching this, please don't be mad at me for putting this in. Isn't it 
takes me to my happy place. One thing that's really hard about driving a car like this when you've got to use both your hands, if you have an, an itch, like I have an itchy nose, there we go, you have to really time it carefully if you've got an itch because you don't have a hand free. Whereas if you're driving a normal car, you can just keep one hand on the wheel. But both hands are needed. 